In this video, we'll take a deeper look at ThoughtSpot Analyst Studio. Uh, using a day in the life scenario, we'll show you how Analyst Studio addresses the following three challenges that you've probably all encountered. First, how do we deal with new raw data coming in and how do we get it quickly into the hands of business users to help them explore and make decisions on that data and get it ready for AI self-service? Second, how do we support exploratory data analysis and modeling with a one-stop integrated IDE for analysts to use SQL, Python, and advanced data visualization techniques in a single integrated workflow? And finally, how are we changing the game when it comes to making it easy to take data science insights and making them available to business users to make day-to-day -day decisions. So uh, let's uh, imagine that I'm a data analyst in the marketing organization at PetSpot, a pet supply company, and we've got a fast-growing online presence. Just this week, we launched a new product review capability, and I've been asked to help the marketing team gain visibility into adoption and key review trends. You've all probably been here. Working with new data often requires a lot of effort to get started, switching between your database or a spreadsheet, a BI tool or data prep tool. And in this case, I know that the raw JSON review data is sitting in a snowflake table. And so I'm going to go ahead and use Analyst Studio to find and look at it. Uh, I can browse to my snowflake schema in the schema browser, and I can quickly just search for this review data by using the schema search capability. It looks like there is a JSONs review table here. Uh, let me click the plus button to look at the first 100 rows of data in this table. And yes, as we expected, it does look pretty raw, right? Just kind of JSON structured data that is really unusable for any form of downstream analysis by my team. So the first thing I want to do is maybe flatten this into a nice structured table but I really don't remember the syntax to split JSON uh, and then also specifically the Snowflake uh, syntax. So I'm gonna use the built-in AI assistant to help me write this query. Uh, so I'm just going to start a new AI comment and ask it to split uh, this data into separate columns using this sample structure below. And I'm going to paste another quick data example in here so it has something to work from. And I'm going to ask it to generate the SQL for me to do the splitting of this JSON. As you can see, it generates a nice structured SQL statement. I'm going to insert that into the editor and run it again. And just to validate that it did, in fact, do what I expected it to do. And as you can see, a nice uh, kind of flat table with structured data that I can now immediately make available to my business users to ask questions with a conversational agentic system uh, called Spotter uh, by just simply publishing this data to the data workspace. So this data set I want to make available to my business users. I'm just call it, call it reviews. And when I hit publish, uh, this data will become available immediately uh, for folks to uh, answer questions. I can also set up a schedule so that I maybe refresh this data uh, on a hourly or daily schedule, however I see fit. Uh, but for now, we'll skip through that. So just quickly to show what a business user might be able to do with this review data, they can simply start asking questions using Spotter like, you know, uh, average, like a daily trend of average uh, rating. And so they can start to see uh, some of that early data coming back. Of course, we don't have a lot of data yet. We're just launching this uh, new review system. Uh, maybe they also want to add a second metric to look at the you know, uh, ad count of reviewers. Uh, let me type that correctly. All right, and now Spotter will be adding the second metric to this analysis for the user. And then, you know, of course, at any point, these answers that are generated by Spotter are fully interactive and editable through, uh, you know, a full set of tools, right? You know, we don't always have to use natural language. If I wanted to change a chart type here to a line column version, I can do that. Uh, very simple. And I could say done editing. And then now uh, that will be uh, present here. I can then take that insight and reuse it, save it, download it, or pin it to a new live board that I might want to start building for the marketing team. Right? Uh, so very, uh, very quick to to get started and to kind of take some of these insights that you're generating. 
constructing a reusable uh, light board from there. All right, my business users are happy in exploring this initial review data, but I want to understand this review data a bit better, right? And so how do I go through and use the various tools in Analyst Studio to generate some additional insights? I can do more in-depth exploratory analysis in Analyst Studio. For example, you can see here I've created a couple of different views on this data. First, a more detailed table view that kind of shows some data profiling information at the top, like how many distinct reviewers have we had so far, the averages and some and min and max of the rating fields, things like that. Uh, I can, of course, uh, also uh, create visual charts like uh, built-in histogram support and do further advanced visual exploration, uh, as well as adding calculated fields and other kind of complex uh, visual data exploration here as well. I can incorporate additional data sets in addition to the review data that I already had. And uh, notice that in my Snowflake instance, there is also a good product table available that I've inspected here, just to show that all those different product IDs roll up into brands and categories and have descriptions. That'll be useful later on as I start to make this data a little bit more uh, useful for, for my business users. Uh, and finally, um, I've, I've shown how to get data ready for AI quickly and shown some of the IDE for exploratory analysis. But let's get to the third area we discussed at the beginning, right? which is incorporating data science. Now, my marketing team would love for me to start doing some sentiment analysis. You know how many sites feature little vignettes with positive reviews? Uh, and sometimes company will reach out to folks that leave negative reviews to you know, make it right, right? Or give them a little coupon or things like that. My marketing team wants to start using sentiment analysis to quickly surface those reviews from this you know, set of 100,000 plus reviews. And so to do so, we can use the Python notebook that is integrated into Analyst Studio that allows me to uh, use some standard techniques such as NLTK and text blob, standard Python libraries for um, you know, doing tokenization and then sentiment analysis as you can see, there are a lot of pre-installed libraries uh, here for me to use, but those are the ones I need for this analysis. And the results of that analysis are just shown here to kind of show that the bulk of our reviews are actually positive, and sometimes we do have neutral or negative sentiment uh, reviews. Uh, the results of that sentiment analysis can now also be published and made available to my business users. And here, this PetSpot sentiment uh, result set uh, has some of the existing data, but at the end, you'll also see it has uh, additional information like the sentiment score and whether it was a positive or a, or a negative or neutral review. Finally, uh, once I review that published data, I can also match that published sentiment data along with the reviews themselves and the product level information into a single model, uh, effectively mashing up data from multiple sources uh, and a, into a cohesive set of columns that my business users can then use to aggregate and analyze the sentiment information by product uh, and over time and things like that. Finally, once we've kind of bring this, brought this data uh, out and available for business users to answer their own questions, uh, we can also build uh, compelling live boards for them as a way to kind of monitor uh, you know, the, the the kind of trends, as you can see, key metrics are being tracked here, like how is our house brand doing from an overall rating perspective? What's the trend of the overall sentiment score? Maybe we want to see some detail of distribution of sentiment by product category. And finally, maybe a leaderboard of like the best and worst review, reviews, review products. And in this specific case, I'm seeing the Seachem Prime product is really well reviewed. And if I wanted to see the most positive reviews from a sentiment perspective uh, for this specific product, I can actually filter this live board on this specific uh, product, scroll down, and then in this list of um, positive reviews, I can now uh, open full screen and, and read through and find all of those really positive reviews that have a really, really strong sentiment score and pick the ones that I may want to uh, feature uh, on my website. Right. So again, that was a quick example and walkthrough of how Endless Studio empowers creators to unlock the power of their data, no matter what shape it's in or where it comes from. Visit ThoughtSpot 
agentic.com to learn more about this and the rest of our agentic analytics platform. Thank you.